Hey, how's it going? Just going to show you how to play the original Pokemon theme from the show. Um, just before we jump into it, I'll let you know you can support me on Patreon. That's linked below. Um, I've also done something. If you don't want to sign up to anything, but you just want to send me a few bucks, you can uh, do something called Buy Me A Coffee, linked below. Um, just a little donation thing. Don't have to. Just there if you feel so inclined. Um, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and you can check out a Spotify playlist I've put together that's got all the songs I've made tutorials for in it, so you can have a listen through that and see if you want to learn anything. Um, also, if you could like and subscribe, that would be a huge help. Really appreciate it. Anyway, now that's out of the way, let's jump into the lesson. Alright, so for this track, awesome track, been a Pokemon fan since I was young in the 90s. Um, so, sections to learn, we've got a verse, chorus, a short lead line that happens after the first chorus, the bridge, and the solo. Um, the rest are just repeats, pretty much. Um, we're just in standard tuning, just the one guitar, and um, yeah, we'll get into it. All right, so the verse sounds like this. All right, so we start out with this. So it's just five on the fifth string, and then three, five on the fourth string. And you can do a slide into that first note. Then you just wait a bit, then you've got, which is three on the fourth string, five on the fifth, and three on the sixth. And you sort of slide down in that last one. Then we get into some power chords. So, we've just got a power chord on F, so 3rd fret on the 4th string and 5th fret on the 3rd string. Move that down a string, so now we've got 3 on the 5th, 5 on the 4th. Move it over 2 frets, so now we've got 5 and 7. Then over one more, so now we've got 6 and 8. And then you move that down a string, so now we've got 6 on the 6th string an eight on the fifth string. Then we've got this, which is just that same power chord we finished on, six and eight on the sixth and fifth strings. Then we go to three and five on the fifth and fourth, and then move that over two frets. So now we've got five and seven. And then you repeat, get back to the, get back to that bit. Um, so that's the verse. Uh, same first and second time it happens as well. All right, so then we've got the chorus, and the chorus sounds like this. So pretty much all power chords, except for when we get to this sort of end few chords. All right, so we start out on an E-flat power chord. So six and eight on the fifth and fourth strings. And strumming for this pretty much the same the whole way throughout. You sort of do down and then up, down, up. That's the first chord. Then we just move it down a string. So now we've got six and eight on the sixth and fifth strings. Same strumming. Back to that first E flat. Then we move it up, uh, up a tone. So up two frets. So now we've got eight and ten on the fifth and fourth. So from the top so far. Then we go down to G, which is three on the sixth string and five on the fifth string. Move it up to A, so now we've got five and seven, same strings. Then we've got the, the 
world we must defend line. So we just move it over a fret to six and eight, then three and five on the fifth and fourth strings, then over another two frets, two, five, and seven on the fifth and fourth. Then we sort of repeat it a little bit. Or we sort of skip ahead, sorry. So we go back to the E flat we start on, so six and eight on the fifth and fourth strings. Then move straight over to eight and 10. Then down to G. So three and five on the sixth and fifth strings. Move it back up to A, so five and seven on the fifth, on the sixth and fifth strings, sorry. Then we get to the you teach me and I'll teach you part. And this is where we change from just power chords to sort of fully fleshed out chords. So we start out on a C minor. So it's the third fret on the fifth string, fifth fret on the fourth and third string, and fourth fret on the second string. And just keep that shape and just move it up two frets to a D minor. So now we've got five, seven, seven, and six. Then we move down. You can play um, a full sort of B flat major where we've been playing our power chord. But I just find it easier because you're using the same shape. Just to just to slide it across. So now we've got first fret on the fifth string and third fret on the fourth, third, and second. So you do that. Move it over two frets, and so now we've got three, five, five, five. And then we go to this sus chord. Which is the same thing moved over, except now we're just putting our pinky down on the second fret. So we're going to be holding down 5th fret on the 5th string, 7th fret on the 4th and 3rd, and you can sort of hold down that 7th fret on the 2nd as well, but you're going to be playing 8th fret um, with your pinky. So you're going... And to finish off, we just go, just power chords all up. So now we've got E flat power chord. So sixth fret on the fifth string, eighth fret on the fourth. Move it over two frets. So now we've got eight and 10, same strings, and then finish off moving over another two frets. So we've got 10 and 12. And that is the chorus. Um, after the first chorus, a really short lead line happens and it sounds like this. Um, so all it is, all on the second string except for that last note. So we're just starting on 13th fret, just bending it up and back. Then 11, 13. Then you hit 13 again, slide up to 15 and then finish on 12 on the third string. And you just sort of speed it up a little bit and play it like that. And that's the, uh, the short lead line. Um, so then it goes through the verse and chorus again, and then it gets to a bridge, sort of this building section before the solo happens. Um, so the, um, there's sort of like a G pedal. So if you want to add that in, you're very welcome to. But all it is, is just doing this. Doing this sort of building thing, and then it moves up. And this sort of second set of chords is over an A pedal. So you can chuck that in just the open fifth string if you like. 
So all these chords are. So we've got five on the fourth string and three on the third string. Moving back to three on the fourth and two on the third. And just going between them. And I find just sort of picking it with my sort of second and third fingers just sort of softens it a bit and gives you sort of room to build it with a bit of dynamics as well. So you repeat that a few times, then move up to the second, um, second part and exactly the same, just up a couple of frets. So now we've got seven on the fifth string and five on the third string. Down to five on the fourth and four on the third. And you sort of sit on that until the solo kicks in. And that's the next part to learn. Um, so the solo sounds like this. Alright, so I'll break it down into a few sort of smaller sections so it's easier to learn. So the first section is... So we're starting out on the 4th fret, 13th, sorry, 4th string, 13th fret, 13 hammer on to 15. Then we've got 12 on the 3rd, back to 13 on the 4th. Then we've got 15, 14 on the 3rd. So the first little bit. Then we've got this, which is up to the first string. And we've got 17, bend up to 18, and then pull off to 15. Well, not a pull off 15, just, just picking that 15th fret. Then we've got... So... We've got um, 13 on the second string. Bend it up to 14, back to 13, pull off to 11. Then you hit 13 again. Then 12 on the third string. 11, 13 on the second. Then 12 on the third again. And we've got this little... Which is just on the fourth string, plucking 10. 10th uh, fret three times and the third time you slide down to eight and finish on 12 on the third string then we've got the little which is on the second string 10 hammer on to 11 hammer on to 13 then 10 on the first hammer on to 11 And then you're sort of hitting the same note, but I just find it's a bit easier to bend it um, up a bit higher. So 16th fret on the second string. Bend it up to 18, back to 16. Then 15 on the second, third and fourth strings. Then we've got this. Which is 15 on the third, then 13, 15 on the second, 12, hammer on to 13, pull off to 12 on the first. Then we've got this little. So, kind of a little sequenced run here. So it's 13 on the second string to 15, then 12, 13 on the first, back to 15 on the second, 12, 13, 15, 17 on the first, and finish with that bend, so 20, bend up to 22. A little bit cleaner than that, obviously. Um, 
and yeah that's pretty much the whole tune um such a nostalgic tune brings back a lot of memories um and it's always fun going back watching the old anime ash ketchum and the gang um, but that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you wanted to donate, you can buy me a coffee, link below. You can join up on Patreon to support me. Um, all support is really appreciated, and I'm very happy to chat and give you any uh, hints and tips and tricks that you want to talk about. Um, you can do that. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Check out that Spotify playlist I mentioned. And again, if you could like and subscribe, that would be huge. Really appreciate it. Um, but that's it for this one. Catch you in the next video. Cheers.